Let's talk more about lipoprotein little a and its associations with sleep apnea and sleep disorder breathing. This is a really interesting finding that I found in my practice about four years ago. As you likely know, I work with people all throughout the world who go and get lab work and we talk about nutrition and exercise and sleep recommendations to improve their biomarkers and overall health. And I found that oftentimes individuals with high LP little a, there was a co-occurrence of sleep disorder breathing and sleep apnea. And I was really curious about this because oftentimes these clients would have you know, some markers of insulin resistance and some dyslipidemia, slightly lower HDL and increased LDL, but oftentimes their LP little a was off the charts. And we hear a lot of the time that LP little a is this hereditary biomarker. Like you can't really do anything about it. If it's high, it's high. You might wanna take a PCSK9 inhibitor or a statin, right? But I started to ask more probing questions and I found a co-occurrence with sleep disordered breathing, which is on the spectrum of sleep apnea. So as you likely know, we've talked with Dr. Stasha Gomenek and Mark Brehenna about this at length, going back to 2015, right? About 10 years. We know that when you're sleeping, you should be nasal breathing. You should have your mouth closed, your tongue should not be collapsing your airway and you should be breathing through your nose. But oftentimes we have dis deviated septums, we have small palates, we have you know, enlarged necks and so forth, and that causes people to start to mouth breathe. And when you mouth breathe, when you're in your deep phases of sleep, as well as REM sleep, your tongue can collapse the airway and that can cause what's known as an apneic event, hence the name sleep apnea. Well, it turns out that if we look at the spectrum of nasal breathing, on one end, on the other end, you have sleep apnea. A lot of folks, including myself, by the way, are in the middle, and we have kind of this quasi-sleep apnea that's characterized as sleep disordered breathing. And this is why myself and many of you have benefited from mouth tape. You go to Walgreens or Rite Aid or Amazon, you buy the 3M Micropro tape, you tape your lips shut at night, and there's other brands out there now that are branding this. Uh, and you can even get Breathe Right nasal strips to expand your uh, nasal passages to encourage or incentivize, if you will, your nose to really uptake uh, oxygen while you're sleeping. And that can help with sleep apnea and sleep disorder breathing. Some clients I work with, they have sleep apnea devices and beyond. But when we have these transient apneic events, throughout the night that causes a lot of physiologic shifts in the body that are maladaptive that can lead to inflammation, dyslipidemia, and insulin resistance. And it turns out there's research showing that there's an association with LP little a. And that brings me to some clients' labs. This is a client that I've worked with for several years, really excellent person, but you can see most of her labs are really good. Her LDL is slightly elevated, but her HDL is really high. APOB is not alarmingly high. The APOB to A1 ratio is great. Triglycerides are really low, but her LP little a just stands out. It's 32 nanomoles per liter. So before we get into that, I want to pause and just say thank you for being here. If you're enjoying the content, hit that like button. A tool that could help you is our blood work cheat sheet. If you don't yet have it, you got to print this out. It's free. Download the link in the description below. So you can go to your doctor, print page one, and just request these labs. I'm getting people all throughout the world, as I mentioned, getting just suboptimal labs, and they actually really kind of suck. We're missing like liver enzymes, we're missing CRP, or we're missing ApoB, or we have ApoB, but we don't have ApoA1. So download the blood work cheat sheet. And since we're talking about optimizing metabolic health, I want to remind you of the novel Burberry and Fasting Accelerator by Myoscience, which has been upgraded to feature the Himaburb raw material. This is the only hand-harvested berberine in the world. This is branded. It has clinical research showing that at the doses that you get in the berberine fasting accelerator, these doses help support metabolic health and waist circumference and beyond. Again, this is wild crafted berberine that is derived from the Himalayas. It's an awesome raw material, one of the best in the world. So you can save using the code podcast over at myoscience.com. I'll put links in the description below for that updated new formulation over at myoscience.com. So getting back to LP little a and its associations with sleep disorder breathing and sleep apnea. Again, this is just something that I sort of started to pick up on with my clients. I'm like, everything is looking good, but the LP little a is high. So I was asking some probing questions, which I would like to share with you now. You know, how do you know if you have sleep disorder breathing? And I learned this from Dr. Mark Behenna. 
you know, he's been a friend. He's been on the show many uh, times. We can put those links in the description below. The most common finding that that I've learned from him, and, and our research obviously supports this, is if you wake up with a dry mouth. So you wake up with a dry mouth. If you snore, if you have to wake up in the middle of the night to go pee, there's this association with vasopressin and so forth. So we think about frequent night urination and that being associated with uh, benign prostate hypertrophy and, and some of these issues with prostate enlargement that often is associated with increased age in men. But we do see this with peri and postmenopausal women as well. And it could be sleep disorder breathing because it impacts your ability to urinate at night and increases urinary frequency while you're sleeping. So sleep disorder breathing, sleep apnea, affect vasopressin, cause increased uh, frequency of urination. In the evening time, inability to recall one's dreams are also associated with sleep disorder breathing and sleep apnea. If you snore, and if your partner uh, mentions like, hey, you snore, like you toss and turn, you're, and this is why I noticed with my daughter, she's definitely a mouth breather. When she was a young child, she would just move all over the place. Like her body was uncomfortable. Sometimes she'd wake up uh, on the other side of the bed and just there's drool everywhere. So she was definitely a mouth breather. And so we got her a myobrace. Uh, we did a lot of, uh, she had a little bit of a tongue tie uh, and now she is more of a nose breather, but a uh, mouth tape really helped with her. So those are the symptoms. And again, you can go to Wal Walgreens or Rite Aid or any drugstore and buy the Micropore tape. I don't have any financial affiliations with any of those companies, but uh, this is something that anytime I travel, you know, I, I bring this uh, with me. I use it all the time. I recommend it for clients. And I have found with my clients that when they address this, their LP little a goes down. And I was really curious about this. So it turns out there's research to support this. Here's a paper that was published in 2019 titled Effect of the Interaction Between Obstructive Sleep Apnea and Lipoprotein Little A on Insulin Resistance, a large-scale cross-sectional study. And the study found that there are associations with sleep disorder breathing, sleep apnea, and elevations in both insulin resistance and LP little a. Uh, there's actually numerous papers here. I'm not going to get into all these different studies, but I think that it, it this is going back to the early 2000s, uh, abnormalities of lipoprotein concentrations in obstructive sleep apnea are related to insulin resistance. And so there's just a lot of papers here to show that if you correct the sleep disorder breathing, and the sleep apnea, guess what? Your lipid levels change in the, in the favorable manner and direction. So I think this is really important stuff because, you know, when you go to most mainstream doctors, you know, they want to give you statins or PCSK9 inhibitors or uh, even some naturopathic doctors want you to take red yeast rice or even niacin. I, I don't recommend those compounds uh, particularly, but, you know, some people really like them. So uh, to each their own. However, I, I think a more upstream approach would be to address the, the root cause. And the root cause is disordered breathing while you're sleeping. So we should focus on fixing that. Now, I do recommend sleep studies. I think that's important for people that definitely have sleep apnea. You know, um, if your partner, your spouse, if you know they have sleep apnea, please get this treated, my friends. Um, a sleep apnea uh, device, a CPAP can be life-changing for many people. So just know that this could be a, a quiet biomarker that is indicative potentially of sleep disorder breathing and sleep apnea. So I wanted to share this with you. Definitely download the Blood Burp Cheat Sheet. Check out the new Himaburb material in the updated Berberine Fasting Accelerator. And we'll catch you in a future episode down the road. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, got some value from this. If you did, please hit that like button. Be sure to share this with a friend and we'll catch you on a future one down the road.